Since the dawn of civilization, humans have always wanted to carry more and more and more. More stuff, more things, more people, more everything. So much, in fact, that we would often become dangerously overloaded. And jet skiers are no different. That's why manufacturers now put capacity labels on jet skis. That's me there. No, there. Yep, trying to carry more than I should. It's my new jet ski trailer. Well, it's not brand new. I actually found it for sale online. The previous owner hadn't used it for years and it was deteriorating outside in his yard. These things are as rare as hen's teeth and I couldn't find any information or reviews online. Not even the manufacturer. Strange, hey? It's designed to solve the biggest limitation of jet skis, storage space. And at five feet long and three and a half feet wide, it's got heaps of cargo room, yet still fits inside the car. Just. I got it home and cleaned it up. It's made of molded plastic, which can take a beating, and it's a lot more durable than fiberglass. At the very rear of the trailer is an open section designed to fit three five-gallon jerry cans with a cleat on either side to strap them down. The remainder of the trailer is enclosed with a removable lid secured by bungee loops. This is the weakest part of the design. It has a very flat hull with twin channels down the center and short fins on the outer to help it track straight. There is also a drain plug at the rear. It's designed to attach the rear of your jet ski with chains and surf on the wake. With it following so closely behind, I was concerned that it may crash into the jet ski whenever I slowed down, so I made a bumper out of pool noodles. Who knows if this will work? Inside the hull is an enormous amount of space, easily enough to fit a couple of eskies and plenty of camping gear for a week away. And the previous owner had also installed a 12 volt bilge pump. Hopefully I won't be needing that. Unfortunately, the lid was slightly warped and didn't fit particularly well. So I reseated it and replaced the hatch seal tape. I also replaced some of the old bungee loops that were starting to fray. Well, all that's left now is to name her. If you have any suggestions, let me know in the comments below. In the next video, we'll find out how seaworthy she is and if I've just got myself a new anchor. Hang in there and I'll see you next time.